in uh, so you know once you uh, you become an ifs officer and during the training period uh, one uh, after finishing the foundation course from labasna one uh, joins the ss ifs that is the sushma swaraj institute of foreign service uh, for the for the diplomatic training for the ifs training and uh, one major part of ifs training is that one needs to learn a foreign language which is known as the cfl the compulsory foreign language and uh, you know it is uh, allocated uh, so every year there are different vacancies for a particular language uh, and uh, it is allocated based on the choices that uh, that an officer gives as well as his rank and to learn that language uh, you know the idea is that uh, you to learn a language you one really needs to uh, go to a particular country where that language is spoken so that one is also able to understand the cultural aspect or and you know minor nuances of that language so you know if someone is allocated say french language they go to paris uh, if if someone is allocated arabic like in my case uh, you know one one is usually one usually goes to cairo uh, or or you know even other languages also for example sinhalese for sinhalese one goes to one has to go to sri lanka uh, and within these countries there are very structured uh, you know programs uh, which have been going on over the years uh, where you attend the classes you do your practice uh, you know speaking writing reading uh, practice and once all that is over uh, there is a the exam that one needs to uh, pass which is the cfl exam and once uh, you clear that exam only then uh, you know you are confirmed into the service uh, as an ifs officer and you also get promoted from a from being a third secretary to a second secretary